Jenny. I'm here with Nicola. Excited to talk about the Community Toolkit. Or you changed the name. That's a great question, actually. Yes, we did change the name. It's now called the Windows Community Toolkit. We did that change about a week ago. We have a new release coming up in about a few weeks from now, the version 3.0. And we're adding a lot of new Win32 features to it, such as controls and some components in there. So we wanted to make sure that the name also encompasses all of Windows developers, not just the UDLP developers. For example, the web view that is in UWP, the Edge web view, you'll be able to use that inside of uh, WinForms and WPF applications. So no more IE6? No more IE6, oh. no. It'll be the Edge web view now, yes. Well, that's huge. Right. Uh, there's several uh, teams within Microsoft that contribute to the toolkit as well. So for example, the notification that is in the toolkit is all built by the notification team. The web view that I just mentioned is built by the, by the actual platform team. They actually put it in there. We just recently even started doing C++ code as well. Really? So the the Microsoft research team and the, the input team in Windows, they decided to put a gaze interaction library inside of the toolkit so you can actually use your eye gaze to control your actual UI. It's all in the toolkit right now. And that's now. all open source. It's all open source, it's all out there. It's on our repo. We have a beautiful sample app. So you can actually check out everything. You can edit the code in real time. You can see what's, what's happening and you can just put it copy paste it into your app and it works. I love it. It's, it's getting it's, easy it's, to build for Windows. It, it's getting really, really easy out there. Yeah, and we, we just try to make it easier for everybody. Well, thank you so much for of course. telling all of us about what you're doing here. Thanks, Nicholas. Thank you. <laughs>